What is happening, everybody? This is Sean of the Detroit Disney Duo, and yes, it's another day, another uh, another video, and it's great to see your smiling faces out there. And thanks for being a subscriber or a potential subscriber. That is, all you have to do is mash that subscribe button, and you join us for completely zero cost. Anyways. Uh, with that said, today is the 16th of February and, uh, 2023. And yes, the planet is still here. Uh, nothing, uh, nothing in the world is going to destroy us yet. Anyhow, it's a great day. Um, so today's topic is going to be my, a thought of mine that I've had for a very long time about talking about on this channel and that is well are you wasting your time doing a whole lot of things that aren't you aren't going to get you any more views on your channel that you probably aren't going to get anyways and whether or not they're really worth it or not now you could go and watch probably the same content on some other channel there's plenty of channels they go deep, deep, deep into this kind of topics, and that's all they talk about. But I have watched a ton of them. Look, I've had this channel for a very long time. I won't say how long, but it's been so long that I remember when Philip DeFranco was sitting in front of his desk, uh, yeah, at home probably, uh, making videos. That's how long I have been having a channel on YouTube. Um, anyhow... So, there have been a lot of channels in the past and now in the future and in the present talking about what you need or need not to do and YouTube analytics and, you know, uh, thumbnails and all sorts of, you know, things, stuff and things that you should do to your videos to make sure you get great uh, views and clicks and whatnot. But is it all worth it? That is the question of the day. Is it worth doing all that all that to your videos? And I'll let me talk about it here for quite a few minutes. Not a long time. Anyhow, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's discuss some of the things. First of all, when I first made my videos, I thought about, you know, this is something that I've thought about. Look, I'm a procrastinator. I'm the, probably the best procrastinator in the planet. Look, I haven't uploaded for a while now, and now I'm making a few videos. And I hope to continue this on. Now, hopefully, this will be a trend that I was doing. Look, I deleted a ton of videos that I had driving around in my vehicle doing this drive-time vlog uh, due to the content that they had because I no longer like talking about politics. But I'm back. I like What I like to do is help you out talking about the things that I think are important, like tech ideas, just general life I things, not political stuff and whatnot. And this is one of the topics I think that's really super important that instead of you wasting your time watching a bazillion other blogs and, or vlogs or, or content somewhere else, I'm sure you will. I'm sure you will. But at least you'll hear what I have to think about it. So, yeah. So for a long period of time, I thought the very first thing that I thought in my head is, you know, what kind of niche do I, where do I fall in line with? And I know I've said in the future, I mean, in the past, that this is the Detroit Disney duo uh, up here, <laughs> up here, the Detroit Disney duo. And yes, we cover Detroit and Disney and we're a duo and, um, you know, and uh, look, we're going to be uh, centered around Detroit and Disney, but but see, this channel is more than just that. It's it's like it started from me, and and now there's like it really has no niche content. I'll be honest with you, I this channel is not a niche channel, and neither are most vlogs that you're following. They don't have a niche. They're just watching somebody's life. Now, you could go to some channels where they talk about specifically about reviewing tech things or their tech people or their, uh, uh, you know, 
social media exports or something that where you're that's all they do is cover that topic or you could be just completely just a a, a a disney vlogger or you could be a disney vlogger with a little sprinkle of this and that like me so there's a lot of people who do really well at just sharing life things and events and it's about that person's character and the person that you like to hear that maybe they sound funny maybe they have dry jokes like my jokes are so dry they're worse than a dry martini Drinking by an old man called 007, you know what I'm saying? Anyways, so, you know, do you really need a niche? That's a question. Probably not. If you're such a great person that people like to watch or, you know, are you just a lovable guy? You know, I'm a lovable guy, you know? Um, so, anyways, do you really need a niche? That's probably a no in the no in the no column no niches needed and 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 i've watched a couple of videos where people talked about that that they didn't need a they don't need a niche they just just picked it up picked up the camera they just started talking about things people arrived there and they started following along because they thought it was interesting what they were talking about how they you know and who they were so yeah do you need that fancy B-roll? I know a lot of people go out there and they, they they film all this fancy B-roll and they set it up and the music's great and it's wonderful stuff. I mean, it's really uh, addicting and it really looks uh, fantastic and it, and you could do really wonderful B-roll. But do you need it? Do you really need all the B-roll? I mean, look, at Casey Neistat had tons of B-roll. But I've watched plenty of videos that don't have zero, none not a one B-roll whatsoever, and their channel is booming. Booming! And they don't have any B-roll. Interesting enough. You don't need B-roll if you can keep people's attentions. You don't need the B-roll because people don't... It's like a... It's a, it's a diversion. It's a... It's a... It keeps... Uh, so you're, you're busy while you're looking at something. It's... It's... While well, something else is happening, probably. I don't know. It's... It's... It's nice. It's... It's eye appeasing, but you don't need it. It's not really that important. Fancy intros. Another thing. I, I was watching something about... You don't need the fancy intros anymore. And I totally agree with that. You don't need all that fancy intros. Look, I, I can't tell you how many channels don't have... Fancy intros. They just start off, blam, right in your face. Blammo, right there, right then, blam. It's right right there, bringing it right to you, right now. And they don't have any intros, not whatsoever. The video just starts, and then they're just there wherever they're, whatever they're doing, they're just doing it, and there's no ginormous introduction. And I think that with the people that have their attention right now where it's very short, why would you waste your time with 30 seconds or 20 seconds or 10 seconds of some type of intro that nobody cares about anyways? I don't, I don't understand why would you do that in an outro? Why would you put an outro? Now I, I have done this in the future. I, I, I know, but you shouldn't do, you know, an outro. Why would you do that? I guess, there's a reason for sort of an outro, but why would you do such an outro that it's so elaborately elaborate? Like, you know, look, do people really stay in the movie theater at the end of the movie that much while the credits are rolling? Heck no, I'm gone. I'm out of there. I got something else to do, man. And I'm clicking on bye-bye at the end of the video. See you later. See you later. So intros, outros, thing of the past. Just... Don't do it. Do you need all that fancy filming? Do you need, you know, uh, 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 you know? I have to say, most of the people that I've, a lot of people that I watched coming up, you know, they, it, it, they've they've come from having laptop using laptop cameras to uh, regular uh, big ginormous cameras, back, you know, to um, to video cameras to cell phones. And now almost everybody is using, using a cell phone. Uh, you don't need this uh, nine, a $900, $2,000 camera. Just pick up the phone. Casey Knight says, says it. A camera and an idea. That's all you need. A camera and an idea and uh, put it together. And, uh, the, and I'm just using a, a web camera today. 
that's you know I'm mostly here when I'm sitting here I'm using a web camera there's nothing spectacular about it but I mean I do have my very favorite microphone here uh not my very favorite look I like a lot of microphones but I'm a avid microphone collector of sorts I'm like a video an, I mean an audio connoisseur but anyways I'm talking about the camera and the camera is not nothing spectacular anyhow so this channel here doesn't have a niche there's no niches i think i said that before no niches it's just all over the place and that's how it's going to be we will share a sprinkle of disney a sprinkle of duo a sprinkle of detroit a sprinkle of what's going on talking about stuff and things stuff and things that people can relate to without getting the politics and uh and the religion and whatnot and just fun fun homely stuff fun homely stuff i don't know uh yeah let's sip on this tea because it smells great it is a wonderful tea anyways um i like my teas let me tell you about teas for a minute and i know this is a video about trust me trust me this is a video about what what you shouldn't do with your videos but this tea this tea and a lot of other teas that I drink, I'm a tea lover. I love my teas. And I was really sad when Tea Vanna, when it was bought out by Starbucks and they took them down uh, and, and kind of got away with it. And I was like, uh, I was uh, rid of Tea Vanna. I was like sad. It was a sad day in history. Anyways, that's enough. That's my small tea story about how I was sad about my tea store going away. It was so sad. Anyways, so look, um, I think it's really important to work on titles. Titles are really enticing, more than the thumbnails. The thumbnails, it's hard to really design a thumbnail that looks great. I mean, that's going to tell a whole story. It's really small; you can barely see it, and uh, you know you can do a, you can do something with a, t uh, a thumbnail. But really important titles of your videos are super important. It's like writing a news story and having a hitch. Something that goes, hey, grab my eye and go, I'm clicking on this video. So I think one thing for sure is that you have catchy, very catchy titles of your videos. I, it doesn't matter how long they can, you know, they have to read. I don't know if you have to cram it all in or whatever, but you got to have it. So somebody's going to click on it and go, I want to click on that. You know, I mean, don't light them. You don't want like false, false titles. Now, you know, our fault. Yeah. False, false headers. That's what they call them in the news world. New news, you know, false headlines. But you want uh, you want something true that is true. Um, maybe take a line out of the video that you used and, and use that as your your hook, your bait. Don't do a bait and switch. Be truthful with uh, whatever it is. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll talk. Maybe maybe this title will be "I was sad about my tea," even though that wasn't really what we were talking about, the hundred percent. But I think that yes, uh, the title's important. Also, um. You know, I can say that a lot of people... Now, I thought about this in the past. You know, is it going to be bad if I just sit here and talk to people like this? We're talking together. We're very... Look, right now, we're, we're having a conversation, just me and you, one-to-one, eye-to-eye. -eye. And uh, you may think that... Um, unless I have my sunglasses on, then you won't be able to see my eyes. I'm just saying. Um, but, but, sometimes... I thought in my head, well, you know what, do I, what if I sit down, I mean, who's going to make a, a ton of, of videos and do well just sitting at their desk? And I can tell you one person I know who does that, it's PewDiePie. But you could say, well, then he videos, he does video games and stuff like that, right? And he makes tons of video, uh, videos of him video gaming, but he is still sitting at his desk talking to you and he's, you do see him all of the time. For most uh, a lot of the videos, while well, he's just talking to you, person to person like this, so I don't think that's an issue. Also, so yeah, you can make a lot of videos at your desk. By the way, just saying, you don't have to go out on some type of 
uh, uh, adventurous adventurer. And my dog loves squeaky toys, by the way. Squeaky toys are important for dogs to keep them busy, except then they make squeaky noises. End of dog rant. I love my dog. He's named after Hannibal of the A-Team. Um, yeah, and his dad was also named after the A-Team. But that's another story uh, for another day. Anyways, with that, I'm not going to hold you guys much longer here. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'll say that one more time. And thanks for watching. And that's just a few things that I was going to talk about for a while. And you guys have a great, great day. And I'll leave you with some squeaky noises. Talk to you guys later. And have a great one. You're supposed to squeak now. Cue to squeak. Talk to you guys later. Have a great one. Bye-bye.